Welcome to my Borderlands 2 Siren build. In this video I'll be showing you what skills to put your points into, what gear I recommend using. This build can do any of the content including all the invincible bosses, any normal bosses and any general mobbing that you want to do and just running around the game. Alright, let's jump into it. So with the skill tree we've got Ward which I'd put 5 points into, gives you shield capacity and shield recharge delay. That's sort of a no-brainer. We have accelerate, which is increased damage and bullet speed, which gives you more damage and your bullets travel to the enemy faster. We have kinetic reflection, which gives you a deflection chance, which is 100%, which reduces the damage done by 50% and deflects bullet damage by 100% after killing an enemy. Then we have suspension which increases your duration of phase lock by 2.5 seconds. We have fleet which I've put points into this because I use the Rough Rider and the Breaknet Banshee class mod which gives you 110% more movement speed so you can run across the map twice as much faster which is a really great skill to have personally and then we have converge which pulls your enemies into your um, phase lock and then we have inertia which increases your reload speed and max shield um, regeneration after killing an enemy so that's for the first um, skill tree for the second one, in Harmony, we have Mind's Eye, which is critical hit damage and melee damage. Melee damage doesn't really matter, but the critical hit's really good. We have Sweet Release, which gives you 5 life orbs, um, which give you up to 15% of your max health per life orb after killing an enemy in the phase lock. Then we have Wreck, which gives you increased gun damage and fire rate while someone's phase locked which also pairs good with uh, suspension which gives you extra duration then we have res which is only good if you're playing online or with other people split screen or something someone gets down you can res them with your skill ability across the map instantly and the only other points in the skill tree I'd recommend would probably be this one and life top. This one gives you life steal and this one regenerates health. The rest is sort of meh. Don't really need that, but yeah. And then in the last skill tree, Cataclysm, we have Flicker, which gives you an extra 30% more elemental effect with guns, which includes Fire Shock, Corrosive, and Slag. We have Foresight, which increases your magazine size and reload speed by 20% and 25%. And then we have Immolate, which I recommend getting, because as soon as you get down, you get an extra bonus 50% damage without any class mods on of incendiary damage which gives you far greater chance of getting back up and getting back into the game but then if you have a specific class one like I have that doubles your damage with incendiary damage while you're down so you practically get double damage far higher chance to uh, get back up then we have chain reaction which you get a ricochet chance of 40% which is sort of just ricochet your bullets everywhere. And then we have Cloud Kill, which is an essential one to get. Gives you uh, corrosive damage. And then we have Reaper, which gives you an extra 40% gun damage while an enemy's above 50% health. Really good for bossing. Then we have Blight Phoenix. I just put a point into this just to proc the skill, and I just had sort of like a point left um, you don't really need this but I just put it in there just to proc it anyway and this one here is one of the best skills to get as well and it's called ruin which now slags electrocutes and corrodes all nearby enemies in your phase lock really great skill I'd recommend it 
Alright, let's jump over into the guns. So for guns, I've got the Boss Becker, which is arguably the best pearl lesson in the game. I prefer the Butcher myself, it's just me, I prefer shotguns, but anyway. Great gun. We have the Double Penetrating Unkept Herald. Probably the best pistol in the game, regardless of what people say. I genuinely think it just murders everything. We have the best rocket launcher in the game, which is the North Fleet. Um, this pretty much just destroys whole groups of enemies in like seconds, especially on Salvador. We have a Logan's gun for regenerating rocket ammo, which I can show you right now with the sham. So what you want to do is grab a sham shield, which is this one right here. Ideally the high, highest percent chance is 94%. Then you want to shoot the ground, and as you can see there in the bottom left, it gives you rocket ammo. This is the only way to get three rockets, and rocket ammo is very expensive in ultimate vault hunter mode. So I'll show you with the North Fleet right now. Shoot shoot a couple of shots, I might have shot myself. And then you can regenerate your ammo and pretty much have infinite rockets. Pretty cool. Uh, with the Rough Rider sealed, we have a Breakneck Banshee class mod, which I would recommend getting. This pretty much just makes you run double the speed. You can literally just run across the map. In my opinion, Maya's probably the best for farming, like, tubbies and stuff, because you can just run really quickly and just quickly check the map. Twice as fast as everyone else. Um, then we have a Magic Missile, which I would recommend getting a level 30 or 50 one of those in normal mode so it doesn't down you then we've got a sheriff's badge which increases your pistol damage and fire rate and fight for your lifetime all right and then assault rifles we have a peak opener and a lead storm for a pistol we have the grog nozzle which is for self healing and slagging I'd recommend getting a 50% slag chance one with a blade on it and then for shotguns we have a interfacer or elements this is arguably like the best shotgun in the game that the conference call and the butcher so you want to get a practical one all elements and then we have a practical butcher all elements as well. This is my favourite pearlescent gun in the game. And then for SMGs we have a slagger for slagging enemies really easily. And then we have a flying sandhawk which is the best SMG in the game and I would get all three elements. For snipers we have the Lyuda which is pretty much the best sniper in the game as well, all elements. And then that's all the guns in my inventory. And then for relics you want to get a Bones of the Ancients, an Incendiary, Shock and Corrosive one. This one also gives you cooldown rate which you don't need, uh, don't need to put points into Quicken if you're using that, um, that relic because it pretty much does what Quicken does and you pretty much get your phase lock up all the time nearly. Then we have a Captain Blades relic as well, this is for the Veracitus fight. You can pretty much instant kill him and then self heal, it's kinda hard to explain right now, I'll explain it in another video. Then we have the Deputy's Badge, which gives you increased shotgun damage and reload speed. And then that's the Relics. And then for class mods we have a Legendary Siren, Legendary Cat, which I would pair with the Sandhawk, uh, Legendary Nurse. Um, this is for when you're in a group of four and you want to just make sure everyone stays alive, this helps everyone out on the team. Lessens your damage, but keeps everyone alive in 
the invincible boss fights and stuff. Sort of gives you like sort of like a medic role. Um, then we have the legendary binder, and these four are acquired from tubby enemies. And yeah, they're the only four legendary class mods in the game. And then for grenades, we have a slag crossfire, which I would get a low level one. Um, a fastball, which is incendiary. This is like the highest damage um, grenade in the game, like in one hit. It's quite funny, you can just sort of just run around and one hit enemies. It's quite just a fun fun grenade to use. Then we have a Stormfront grenade for electrocuting, Quasar, Shock Fastball, Corrosive Fastball, and then a Chain Lightning. I only have this just for self-healing while using the Grog Nozzle in your hand. And then for shields we have a Blockade, which is sort of your like tanky shield. Has the most capacity, has resistances. And then we have a Antagonist, which is also a really great shield. This is one of the best shields in the game. It also slags enemies as well and deflects uh, bullets. Then we have a Evolution, which is for elemental resistance, um, for the corrosive damage and stuff. Then we have a Sham, which gives you. Uh, uh, ammo absorb like bullets uh, enemies shoot you and then it absorbs the bullets and put it into your backpack and then we have the baby shield which is your all out damage shield you want to get a corrosive one and a burn one and yeah I've left you with one more uh, slot in the backpack to do whatever you want and I'll look in my stash we have a toothpick, uh, all the conference calls, uh, north fleets, uh, barter boom for rocket jumping and grenade jumping, uh, sincero for uh, taking off Pyro Pete's helmet and killing the chief in the uh, one of the invincible fights, Veracitus. Then we have a Lady Fist in all elements as well for critical hit damage, a Hydra for the Hyperius fight, and then Pimpernel, you want to get all elements, and then a easy mode for the raid on Digistrike Peak, and a Retainer which helps you in the Riffering Deep area. and. Also gives you bonuses with toothpick. And yeah, that's all my weapons and my build. Hope you enjoy, and I hope you found this information good. And please like and subscribe. I only just started this channel like a month ago. I'm just going to see where it goes. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and thank you very much.